In today's video, we're gonna have a look at Coral Minerals. It's a stock that we've been in for a couple of years now. We've done plenty of videos on it. Just a bit of an update on some of the chart action that I'm seeing, and a bit of an update just quickly on some of the news. <laughs> What's the crack everyone? Welcome back by Hotel. Hope of course you're all well. Quick one on Codal Minerals. It's been a while. A lot of people ask me, what's up no Codal? Where are you talking about Codal? Well, I talk about it in my Discord. The links are down below if you want to get into it. But I thought I'd bring this here because I've been promising people that I would bring it. It has been quite quiet on the Codal Minerals dream. There hasn't been a huge amount of news that's came out with Codal Minerals, but we can see some of the stuff here. Go on, have a look at their um, Twitter feed. And we know what's going on with Codal. I'll share the link to the previous video. We talked about the, the funding that was in place to try and bring this to construction stage is really um, and you can see this is our free uh, Facebook group if you want to get in get some information it's gone a bit quiet recently with well, there's not been a lot of news I put this in if we finally say goodbye to the 20s and that was on November 3rd which will bring me to the charts then let's have a look oh and before we do that I just want to say I like how Elon Musk has been quoted here in his thing could, I'll give that a like could this be you know a bit of a rumble we know that uh, he is keen to buy lithium why not why not it could be Codal could be anything any lithium play in the world must be excited that, co that he could be knocking on the door at any given moment so if we look at Coda minerals then on the four hour chart we can see here um on the 3rd of november is when i said are we finally gone and then what happened it went back back into the 20s again we went up and we went down real sell off here and there was some news that came out about the coup issues issues in um in africa just i shared it into the discord shared it into the facebook group perhaps there's some conflict i think that's perhaps what sold this bit off and then we're back in building up support looking for the next leg up and that's what i would say is coming we can see here that the rsi the sorry, macd has crossed over if I can get that out of the way. You can see the MACD has crossed over, which is seen as a bullish sign. We've got a bit of volume. Wouldn't get too excited about the volume, but there is a bit of volume in the buying pressure, which is good. RSI starting to go upwards. Bit of momentum. We can see today is obviously a good green day. If we turn on the trading strategy then, we can see here, we're still um, having to come a buy. We need another bit more confirmation to come a buy. What I really want us to see though, guys, is for us to get above, above the 200 day moving average. That is a bullish sign. Anytime we have got above the 200 day moving average, it really hasn't lasted too long. We've been pulled back in because of the general market. Now I believe that there's perhaps a bit of a Santi rally coming, I hope. Um, that might spur on the bit of the markets, bit of certainty as well in the UK with this being um, a UK listed stock that also potentially helps us with things. Price of lithium is shooting through the roof as we know every day. It's just going up and up and up. The demand's hot, green plays are hot. This is the right sector to be in, no doubt about it. It's just a long hold. It's just a really long hold. When I bought this, it was always a 20, 30 play. Check out the videos two years ago. I said it was a 20, 30 play. We're at 2022. 20, so in terms of a 10 year hold, we're two years deep. Going into the third year, um, I expect this to go on, but we're waiting on news, we're waiting on update studies, we're waiting on the better update on resources. All these things are still to come, and then hopefully we can start going into construction, and that's where Bernie, don't forget, gets paid in shares. He wants this to go to construction. It means more for him than a deal. So we'll just have to watch this space carefully, but I do truly believe that this should be a lot higher than where it is now, and I am all about that. They charge telling us a bit of a similar story. We haven't crossed over in the MACD, which is still showing a bearish sign, but we can still see there's a bit of bullish here. And this level, as I said in my Discord, this level is strong. We really haven't broke it, and that is going back um, since May 2021. So it's a strong level. Buying at these levels in any capacity will, will not be seen as a bad move in the long run, in my opinion. Do your own due diligence, of course. But for me, if you're not in Codal, I'd be buying at these levels, wouldn't be afraid of it. If you're looking for a top up and you've got maybe bought recently, I'd try to get it closer to this support level. If you go even to the weekly chart here, you can kind of see we are at the lows. This has just been going sideways. It's been going sideways since May 21. Long time going sideways. We're waiting for it. We're waiting for us to break this level. Once we get above 0 0.4, you're looking for confirmation. I personally will be taking some profits at 0.4-ish. Put, you in, put that, I will put that alert into my Discord as and when the time comes. The only reason being is I like to trade as best I can. I would look at that as a potential resistance. But if we've seen another stock, which I've just done a video on, Premier African Minerals, the level of support, sorry, the level of resistance um, for a long, long time, I trimmed the profits there. And then of course we went through it. I wouldn't be surprised if something like that happened with Codal Minerals as well. What I don't want to see is pump, pump, pump. This to go parabolic. I like it taking small steps upwards. I know that a lot of people don't like that. 
I prefer that it shows steadiness in the stock. It'll, it maybe will stop uh, short squeezes happening because they'll just not attack it. It goes under the radar, just ticking along nicely. That's what we want. So all the Bernie and the team, I'll catch you in the next video. Discord links down below, three ninety nine a calendar month. Better yet, the Black Friday winter sale is on. £99 for uh, the trading course. Learn how to trade, learn when to buy, sell, all this. You get access to the custom indicators. And better yet, it comes with lifetime. That's right, lifetime pass to the Discord. All that will be ending in a matter of the next 30 days. So don't mull over for too long. I'll catch you in the next video, guys. And be sure to like and subscribe and check out this playlist. All the Codal Prem, uh, African Miner stocks are all in here. Worth a watch if you're interested in this space. Please like again. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.